Hey guys, and welcome back to Trial by Combat, the Kingsguard Challenge. It's now time for round two of the Kingsguard Challenge, and this is where I personally have to make my stand. Last time, Midge won in the dueling phase. Six to one. Pretty big fraction of my Kingsguard. But this is now the melee, where basically we're going to have our guys, you know, imagine two teams, seven against seven just as the gods would want it to be. They're facing off, they, they can see each other's eyes across from the field, um, and they're going to fight each other. Think of it like the trial by seven. Our king's guard in this melee. Now, the rules for this are going to be, I'm going to choose first, because uh, Midge got f four of the three, he got the control last time. So for this time, I'm going to be controlling my character first this time. So I will choose one of my characters. So both sides are going to run at each other, just like you imagine in a big fight in a melee. And what's going to happen is I will then choose one of my characters, and I say he's going to go and attack one of Midge's characters. So unlike last time, I will be choosing who he fights. And then my character then go fight that character. We'll duel. We'll see what happens. Uh, then Midge will have one of his characters attack one of my characters. So for example, if my character goes attack his, I kill his character... He could then choose one of his characters and have him attack my character who killed his and then kill him. And so the idea is that this fight will keep going on until one team is left standing. So let's say if like last time Midge wins six duels at the beginning, I'm left with one guy, Victarion. If Victarion can then duel every single one of Midge's men that are left and win, I would actually then win part of this challenge. And uh, if I guess if, you know, if Midge wins this round... He would have won both the rounds. If I win, we're going to have to come up with a third stage of this challenge to see who will win. But I keep my fingers crossed. How, how are you feeling, Midge? I'm, I'm pretty nervous. Pretty nervous, actually. Um, You're not confident in your men? Uh, I'm confident in their ability in combat. However, I, I, I'm not sure how they would fare like, as a... I, I, I don't know how they'd fare if they were all together in a battle compared to your guys. I think I think you've picked a lot more battle-hardened guys, like, lore-wise. And if they were to be in a melee okay. against each other, I would be worried. The only person I would be less worried about than the others is probably Oberyn, just because he's a bit of a bastard. Uh, everyone else is like... John? The great John is like a... You know, he'd be in the thick of a battle. He'd be in the thick of the battle, but I think a, a lot of your team would just outsmart him. They'd they'd go at him two two versus one sort of thing, so uh, yeah, I, I I I the law of this sort of idea scares me. So I'm 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 not I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath. I was coming up with this idea like both of these rounds sound very similar, but actually this one's really different because we will be choosing who we'll face. So it, we're not actually choosing someone to face this other person who might correspond well to them i could choose my best guy and just fight your worst guy and kill him off at the beginning and stuff so and also we could choose characters we think are more like to kill that other person might do better against them etc so there's a bit more tactics to it in a way but yes i'm going to choose them so both our two sides are going to be facing each other they're going to run at each other but the first one of my team to get into the fight is going to be barristan selmy him go into the fight because i felt in the the duel he did not you know, going up against the Red Viper didn't show off how good he was. He got tricked by his dirty schemes. So I want to make sure Barrison doesn't get tricked again. So I'm going to have him face off. He's going to target the Knight of Flowers. He's going to head straight towards the Knight of Flowers. He knows he's young. He's inexperienced. He's a good fighter. But compared to Barrison, come on. This boy needs to learn a lesson, you know, and to teach him. So Midge doesn't get to do anything about this. It's just... Uh, you know, it's just Barristan coming in to fight Loris and see who will come out on top. What do you, what do you think of Loris's, Loris's chances here, Midge? Uh, I reckon Barristan Selmy would whoop Loris's ass, if I'm honest. But, uh... Um, though, what about in the game? In the game, they're, they're, they've both got 95 combat skills, so it's completely even Stevens. One's a teenager, one's the old. This is literally the old versus the young here. The, the old guard versus the new guard. I think law wise, Barrison would kick his ass. Yeah, the same. <laughs> Personally, but you know, you know, I think a lot of people are quite mean to Loris in like the community because we only usually see him get beaten up. 
<laughs> <laughs> but actually, he's he's meant to be pretty decent. But let's get going. Let's get the fight going. I have to win the melee here. Okay. How will I do this? They slowly start the circuit. You're embarrassed and go straight towards Loris. But how is he going to fight him? I'm going to... Because I, I think he's inexperienced. So I'm going to use my force just to go straight at him and just overwhelm him because he's inexperienced. That's my plan. As you and Lord Loris engage, you slip up and leave an opening in your defense. A skilled warrior like Lord Loris needs no invitation to strike. Damn you, Barrister. Defend yourself. Don't die. Gonna yield, of course not. I'm not finished yet. Barrison, keep going. Oh, Is he this wounded? could be a chance for a wound. No. I don't think unless you put it back up. There you go. And we will say this as well, guys. If someone does get wounded or hurt or something, we will keep that if they have to fight again. So if they get targeted again or they fight again. So, for example, if I fight now a Barrison and if he won, Mitch could have his go. Then it could be my go. I could choose I could choose Barrison again to fight. So, like they say, there's a bit more... Ta there's, a, there's a lot of fights that could happen. But if someone gets injured, they will be injured for the rest of the, the melee. So we got to be careful. Uh, but yeah, I'll go... Force again. I, I, that's just that's what I think will work. Oh. Loris, no, Loris is a bit more. He's a sneakier than I thought. He's killed than Barristan was expecting. Defend yourself, Barristan, please. Oh, that's it. Barristan had to give up. Loris has his sword to Barristan's neck. Looks as though the Knight of Flowers took on the bold and. Uh, it looks like the age was too much. Maybe Barrison just needs to retire, I guess. But there we go. Barrison is yield. Loris has his sword to his neck. And Loris, the youthfulness comes out on top. Well, there we go. For me, once again. But yeah, okay then. Midge, Midge. Who will you then send in to fight then? Okay. Loris, so... remember, you can choose him to go straight in to fight someone else. Or yep. you could choose someone completely I, I different. I can, but I is who I'm actually gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna send Brienne to Tarth in. Brienne's gonna come out and she is gonna attack Jamie. Again, because you he won she won last time. She won last time. <laughs> I've gotta put my faith Damn in the girl. Man. I've put my faith in her. Uh, we can use our knowledge from the duel now to try and suss out what may happen. <laughs> Obviously it's still random. It's still random, really. Yeah. But we we'll have to, I guess, we'll have to wait and see then. Okay, then. It's round two. And we're back. This is the second part of the melee. Well, technically, this could be happening at the exact same time. Brienne looks over her shoulder as she sees Loris overpower Barristan the Bold. And she makes eye contact with Jamie Lannister. And let's get this second part of the melee underway. What, what's Bored your prediction in love. here, NG? <laughs> what's your prediction here? I, 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 I predict they're going to fall in love. Oh, yeah. Just, just And they'll appreciate each other's skill at arms. And they'll they'll both just stop fighting and just fall into lovemaking <laughs> in the battlefield. Oh. Okay. Lord Jamie the Kingslayer has chosen to accept your challenge in personal combat. Let's get the fight going. Jamie, please. You, I can't believe Barristan lost. You slowly circle each other. Tense and focused, you scan him for any signs of weakness. Ooh, okay. I Jamie, this is your chance to prove you're better than Barristan. This is your chance. You can overcome your idol here. I think I think I'm gonna go defensive again. It's just come on, Jamie. Her fighting style you is lost... very defensive. You lost yes! last Come time. on, come on! Strike! How to get Jamie! It's all Ow. over now, is it though? Got no, him. he's rolled away. You gotta click it and then click the character, Midge. <laughs> no, it, 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 it didn't change. It's fine. Okay. Seeing defensive gonna... didn't work. I'm gonna go speed. I'm gonna try and outrush him. I'm I'm younger. I'm probably I'm probably fitter. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh... <laughs> I, I always forget the age difference. I always forget how diff how big their difference in age is. Yes, that's something. I think a lot of people forget how old Jamie actually is. You forget how young Brienne is. I think, especially on the TV show. Yeah, the TV show. She looks a lot older. 
But well, I think they wanted that. Yeah, they. I, I don't think they wanted Brienne in the TV show to be a young character because they already had kind of the young actor, like, heroes fulfilled. I think they needed... I think that's personally... I, I'm not going to get into this now. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to go for speed. In, in, in that world, oh, that age up. difference isn't... Yes, but actually, wait, I just want to finish with that remark. Actually, in their world, their age difference isn't that big a deal. Yes. Tyrion yes. married Sansa. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no! Jamie, come on! Yes! No, Jamie! I should have stayed defensive! I should have stayed defensive! Yes! His honor, he lost to Brienne last time, and he knew he couldn't lose to her twice. Now we don't know who's better, Brienne or Jamie. We still don't know. It's no, we, one we, we just we failed the the, the 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 damn. Oh no. Oh. Jamie was he saw Barrison lose to the Knight of Flowers, and that gave him inspiration and strength to had to push through after Brienne almost beat, be pushed back, and he defeated her and forced her to give up. I should have Jamie stands in the stance. I personally tried to take the advantage that I'd already knocked him down once, but I, I guess Brienne wouldn't have done that really. From what I Jamie was happy said when you changed. Me. I was yeah. happy when you changed. <laughs> but Midge, Jamie now with this vigor of having beaten Brienne and seeing his idol, Bar well, one of his idols, Barristan, fall to Loris, he charges towards the Knight of Flowers. Oh, oh, okay. It's like, I have to avenge Barristan. I'm going to make sure there's no way this young go-getter can be better than Barristan the Bold. I'm going to show him, and then I'll prove that I'm better than Barristan and the Knight of Flowers. Jamie can't let that go. For round three, where Jamie will take on the Knight of Flowers, both the two victors of the first fight in the melee. The others are fighting all around them, but we don't know who they're fighting just yet. We, we, have, we can't see it. All we can see right now is Jamie and the Knight of Flowers. Okay, let's set that up. Jamie, having knocked down Brienne, made her give up at his feet, now looks towards Loris. Tyrell, the Knight of Flowers, to take him down. He rushes towards Loris, and their duel will begin. The two, he's going to face the two lovers of Renly here, Mitch. He's faced Brienne, and now he's facing Loris Tyrell, the two people who loved Renly probably the most. It's Who's going to come out on top? Right, how do you what want do you Jamie think of, to fight? Might... What, what do you think of the Knight of Flowers' chances here? Um, I think Jamie is going to defeat him. He just him. beat Barristan. He just beat Barristan, He Mitch. beat Barristan, but Jamie has just be be beat Brienne. And Brienne is pretty darn um, potent as a character. So I think unless Jamie makes a mistake, Loras is going to struggle. If I remember correctly, is pretty good in the game itself. Like in the mod itself, he is pretty good. If I remember correctly, so I think Jamie is statistically the the strongest character in the game. Yeah, arguable, definitely. I I could definitely see people saying that um, when he had two hands, of course. Okay, so do I use speed? No, he's young. But... I'm trying to think. The Barristan used force. It didn't go well. Use defense. Defense. He saw. He, yeah, he saw Barristan lose. And did that, and it just, it did not go well for him. But yes, as you and um, Loris engage, you slip up and leave an opening your defense. Ah, oh, Loris Tyrell is he's, he's killing everyone. He's, he's killed Barristan. Now he's about to beat Jamie. Is he though? Oh, God. Is he though? He forced me overwhelms. Let's see. Oh wow! And Jamie he did. yields. Jamie yields. Oh my! So look at that, Loras. You know, forces him down. Kill us. Jeez, Loras Tyrell. It's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Loris is the winner. Well, Midge, Midge, so he's taken down Jamie and Barristan. You've lost Brienne. Who fights who on your side? Who's going to attack who? So, I think 
I think, personally, in the way the melee is working right now, Loris is way too tied up in combat to have even thick pointed out different targets. So, I think this is the time for Great John Umber to come bursting through the battlefield and just engage the first person he, uh, he meets at sight. And that is going to be Ares Oakheart. Okay, Ares Oakheart <laughs> versus the Great John. Not something I've really thought about, but okay. So he's targeting Ares Oakheart. Let's see what happens then, folks. Let's see what happens. Okay, we are back. Great John is charging through the battle. Field to find, uh, go away, go away. <laughs> to find Ares Oakheart. He's, uh, he's seen the glint of his, his Kingsguard armor in the sheen of the battlefield, and the fight has begun. Great John. Well, I mean, you, use... could, you could imagine, like, like, Loris has beaten down uh, Jamie. He's got him on the floor. He looks up to look around him, what's happening, and he just sees the Great John fighting Ares Oakheart in front of him. Yeah, just like with this mighty, almost blood-curdling scream as Great John oh slips up. Yes. And Ares Ares is um, pushed him on the put him on the back foot, and now Great John is defending himself. He's got skills, oh, but Ares. He, he's not finished yet. He dodges and he dodges and rolls. Great John is not injured though. No, come on, okay, Ares. You slowly you circle each it. other, tense and focus. You scan any sign of weakness. You could try and possibly exploit. You're just going to keep using force, though, Great John. Those are already lost. Oh, no. we found a vulnerable spot. Strike! You easily break through the guard. It's all over now. He's going to be a bitch. No, he's being a bitch again. <laughs> I do not Please. accept your yield. Clunk. Nice. Ares is dead. So, I mean, that, that was, that's a good win for you, I think, there. Yes. The great John that, getting rid that, of Ares Oakheart. That was, I th personally, in certain terms of, like, lore-wise, that would be a very lucky fight. And, like, the only way I see that, like, actually... Like, going down in that way is like if I said um, Great John kind of charges at him almost berserker-like whilst maybe Ares Oakheart was just finishing off some, like, standard foot soldiers. Caught him by surprise, managed to get the hold of him, and then maybe another soldier distracted him while... I, I, I think there would have to be other distractions, like, for Ares to, to have messed up that much, you know? Well, just to set the scene for the people watching, just so they know what the field looks like right now, I've now lost three fighters, and I only have four left. My four remaining fighters are um, Sander Clegane, who's not really been, we've not seen yet, uh, Victorian Greyjoy, Aereo Hota, and Garland Tyrell. So four really good fighters, but we haven't seen the fighters, only four left. Midge still has six people left. He's still got Howland Reed, the Red Viper, Roderick Forrester, um, Great John Umber, Loris Tyrell, who's been he's beaten two already. He's definitely the, the MVP right now. And of course he's got Stannis Baratheon. Only Brienne of his has been taken out so far. So Midge is definitely on uh, the roll here, but it's my turn to choose. And I have to bring it back. I'm gonna have who am I gonna have? Um Garland Tyrell. Stannis Baratheon. Oh, oh, I like that fight. Yeah, Gar Garland Tyrell doesn't. You know, he's seen his brother. He doesn't want to face him. I know last time he lost to him, so in the the duel. So, and he's he's beaten two people already. Loras seems unstoppable. So I'm gonna have Garland face off against Stannis because Garland, I think, is one of my better fighters. Um, and I think Stannis is your weakest. So I want to take. I need to take out one of your weaker ones, just to try and even the playing field a bit go yeah. with Garland Tyrell. So yeah, next round. Garland Tyrell for the next round. He charges towards Stannis Baratheon. He feels that Stannis is probably the weakest of the fighters he can see upon the battlefield. And so he decides to take his chance. So hopefully he can help out the, the team right now who are losing because my, my Kingsguard is not having a, a great time right now. So let's go jump right in, Midge. I need to jump in. I need to get a win here. Like I said, though, it's not a massive deal if one of you is losing because you only need to have one character left to still be in the game. So as long as I've still got my other characters, I'm still in a chance to win. It's just much harder. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. So the more people we lose, the more 
luck goes against us, but I think I'm going to go with speed. Yep. One mistake and he'll get it. As you and Lord Stannis engage, you slip up and leave an opening in your defense. Why do I feel like I see this a lot? <laughs> Stannis. Stannis, though, obviously, he's not one to give up. He may feel as though Garland is a great fighter, but Stannis will never yield, so he keeps fighting. Garland. Garland did not expect this fight from Stannis, and so he's actually pushed back. But he's growing strong. Grow strong. Good. Let's have a look. We're not wounded. We haven't had get hurt so far, which is good. Um, should I change then? That's the question. I'm going to use... I'm going to force. Use the force, Garland. Yes! You spot a weak spot. A vulnerability sense defense. We go through. It's over now. He pushes back. Stannis, Stannis can't fight back against his overwhelming force and... Oh, Stannis. He yields! Yes! Stannis, Stannis take that. Stannis dies here. So Garland wipes his blood from it, growing strong. So the Tyrell brothers are doing really well so far, aren't they? They are. They really are. Well, in this melee. Okay, then, Midge, it's, it's your turn. Stannis has fallen. Brienne has fallen. But <laughs> I lost three, so you're still a man up. My Stormlanders are all dead. <laughs> You've killed them all. <laughs> King's Guard are all dead, Midge. The ones actually in the King's Guard. <laughs> yeah, that's Jamie true. Very <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> that is actually true. Oh my goodness. Um, They're meant to be good fighters. They're all dead. Oh my goodness. You're gonna fight who? Are you gonna have? Are you gonna have Loris or um, the Great John who are on a high maybe to fight someone else? Or are you gonna choose a new fighter to jump in? Uh, I think uh, I think I'm gonna pick a new fighter to come into the fray. The battlefield. Yeah, I, I, a new player takes the stage, and I think, I think Roderick Forrester is gonna he's gonna come in. I think he is gonna come in, and he is gonna go against someone we haven't seen yet. I think he's gonna go fight Ariel Hota. I was I was thinking maybe you might choose Victorian to get revenge. <laughs> oh, that would be cool. No, but, uh... I think he's gonna go for Ariel Hota. Okay, so we're going to zoom across the battlefield over to where Roderick and Area Hota are in fierce combat. The northern man who's meant to be very good at melees, so this should be his bread and butter, against a foreigner from across the sea who is bodyguarding hell. Area Hota. Will he be able to do it or not? We'll have to wait and see, guys. See you in the next round. Okay, the dust's clear. Roderick looks up and he sees Area Hota. Their challenge begins. Um, I think, yeah, like you said, this is Roderick's bread and butter. He's used to melees in northern tradition. I think he'd take a bit more of a defensive route if he sees this, this berserker of a man. Doesn't Aria Hota use an axe? He does. He, yeah. he killed a man, he cut him in half. He cut Aria's oak cut in half, like one blow. Yeah. Now, obviously, Aria's oak cut, like I, many people say, probably was just wanting, <coughs> probably, <coughs> sorry, Probably wanted to die. So it wasn't really like he was really fighting. But the fact he could chop him in half in one blow, even with an axe, is still pretty impressive, you know? I, I think I think Roderick would play defensively. He wouldn't want to be taking a blow. He'd want to be thinking about protecting himself. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a defensive stance. And it looks like it's paying off. Your experience in combat and prowess with your weapon allows you to spot an opening in Ares defense Ares defense, not Ares. Oh, we're saying too many no, A names. I need to win. I need to. I need to draw it. Not this... much, but it's all you need. He's completely at my mercy now. It's all over. He yielded. I do uh, not. Ariel Hota. I've been very disappointed in him. The Julian and the Melee now. He's been disappointed. I was hoping he could be fun one. He did not come out. So that now puts me down to. How many? I think I only have three people left. You I've do. got, I've got Sander Clegane, I've got Victorian. Well, I've only got three people against your five. Yeah. This is going to be difficult. Um, I'm going to then choose <laughs> Sander or Victorian. Let's just think about who's left. Um, you have Helen Reed. In. Roderick Forrester, yeah, he just won his one. 
God, they're they're all so <laughs> they're all so good. I'm gonna have Sander Clegane is straight towards the Great John. Ooh, I like that battle because San- Sander's just seen the battlefield. He he wants to fight, and he sees the Great John having just slammed. Um, who was it? He sl- who did he defeat? Uh, so Aries. he just slam Ares oak cart to the ground, and so he's like, "Okay, I'm gonna fight that." The Sander wants to test himself against the Great John. I like it. He's strong as well, but he's more skilled at arms. That hopefully he can come out on top. That, that's what I'm hoping for. But yep, the next round, guys, I have to win. If I can win, it'd be three to four. Then if I lose, it'll be two of mine left against Midge's five. Gonna be close. so far. Not looking good. Right, we'll be back in a moment. And so Sander, we see take to the battlefield, the face against the big great John Umba. Now I've got I've gone for this image because you know for me, your great John's a threat. He's a big guy. And most of your other guys are kind of smaller people. Like this guy's the one that most people would notice in your lineup who are left. Because now that Brienne's gone. Brienne and Great John are kind of your two big guys. So I need to get rid of him. Sander for me is my kind of big guy left. Uh, Area Hota is meant to be my big guy, but uh, Sander's also my big guy. I'm hoping he can take down the Great John. And if he's attracted to the fact that he's so big, you think I could take down that big. He reminds me of the mountain. Yeah. Down. Let's see. Come on, Sander. Let's get this road on the show. And please, if you lose this, I'm going to be such a bad position. <laughs> Right, let's fight. Uh, okay. Now the map, the Great John. Sorry, that was the map. The, the Great John is big. Does Santa have giant on this, on the mod. No, he's just uh, strong. He's just strong. And I'm a drunk. I'm gonna go with speed. <laughs> speed, and hope you haven't had too much drink beforehand. Speed. Um, oh, Lord John uses great range of his sword to good effort. You cannot get close enough to strike. Eventually sees a weak spot and brings his weapon down uh, the great height upon you. No! Come on, Santa. Don't yield, please. Don't yield. I'm not finished yet. Fuck your king. Is he injured? No. Still drunk, and he's still burnt, but he's not injured. Do I do I keep using speed? Do I try and use it again, or do I change my tactic? Like I can't match him with force. He's a big. Then again, I can't match him with defense because if I do defense, he's going to destroy me. Stand back against the great judge. I can use force. I'm going to try and match him because maybe because we're both strong. Okay, force it is. We slip up against Sand. <laughs> no. He's definitely going to yield. Uh, there's no way Sand is not going to yield. Defend ourselves. Yeah. The towering Great John beats down Sander. Maybe I've, you know, I said this is the mod, obviously, but maybe I've been underestimating the Great John. I did have him and the Small John both on my list. Maybe I should have chosen his son on my team when you chose the Great John. Yeah. But there we go. I'm now down to two. Men, Victorian Greyjoy, and Garland Tyrell. Now, for me, these are actually probably what I think are my two best fighters. Oh no, wait, no, Jamie. Jamie's better than Garland. Okay, the two. Okay, uh, Victorian's my favorite fighter. Garland, I think, is really good. So I got, I got two really good fighters left, but they've got to fight five men. Hal and Reed, who's a, a great fighter, arguably one of the best fighters. Roderick Forrester, who in the game is rated very highly. Um, the Great John has already beaten two people down, and Loris the Knife Eyes has also beaten two people down. Garland has beaten one on my team. That's it. Victorian has just been kind of watching the battle from, from the back, ready to take on the, only the best. Victorian's been waiting to take on only the best. He's been waiting to see which ones come out on top. But he now must step forward, probably. Um, Midge, who are you going to send forth against Garland or Victorian? Well, I think... Um, I think... One of my one of my leaders, who was maybe maybe more behind the troops in this battle, maybe he was he was uh, dictating a lot more tactics, I think, possibly at this point, um, and was 
w was stood back, kind of looking around the parade. But then he sees Victorion alone, just, just egotistically walking the battlefield, waiting for someone to challenge him. And I think Howlam Reed is going to go, got to go for uh, Victorion. A Kranigman versus the greatest of Ironborn. Right. We will be back with that in just a moment. Okay, Howland, seeing Victorion, launches forward at great speed. The fight begins. One mistake and he'll get Victorian it. Victorion has to win this. I'm, I'm going to attack him with speed. This is going to be this is going to be a tough one. Oh, defend myself! You've been overwhelmed by Victorian's immense strength as he strikes your body my with a charge. Put my secret weapon. You are sent reeling, which gives him an opening. So. Howland was sprinting towards Victorian, but Victorian spots him and just uses um, and also charges in, but getting low enough to almost like dump tackle Howland over his body. Charged into each other. But Howland <laughs> is not finished yet. Is he injured? No, still no injuries yet. Okay, no, we've Victorian. seen no injuries. No. Yeah. Slowly circle each other, tense and focused. You scan him for any signs of weakness, any opening in his defense that you could possibly exploit. Okay, Howland's learned. He, he, he's going to try and play a bit more defensive now. Oh, and he was right to. His experience in combat and prowess with weapon allows him to spot opening in Lord Victorian's defense. It's not much, but it's all you need. No! You easily break through Lord Victorian's guard and knock him to the ground. He like sprawled at your feet, completely at your mercy. Oh, Secret but Victorian weapon. rolls to the side, wounded but still very much alive. You got, you got to click it and then. Yeah, no, he's fine. He's fine. Lord Victorian slowly circle. Oh, the circle continues. Okay, he's got. He's it's a good with... fight so far. It's, it's one. Whoever wins this will win. Takes two. Oh no! <laughs> Victorian, your secret weapon, that little Kranigman. It's all over now. No, Let's you see. iron-born prude. Lord Victorian oh, crumbles. My weapon. One man against five. <laughs> Who is your one man left? Oh yeah, Gull. Uh, Tyrell, he's the only one who won a fight. So again, I'm in a situation where I've hardly won a fight. Oh no, Jamie. Jamie won a fight. Then Jamie lost. won a fight, but then lost when he went to attack Loras. Well, Loras okay, well, the I MVP. Guess, well, I guess I, I'm going to have to choose Garland Tyrell. Yeah. But he's surrounded by fight. Well, he's not surrounded. They're kind of all strewn across the battlefield. But he sees that. You know what? He's just going to go for it. He sees that, you know, Victorian, who is someone who he didn't like Victorian, but he respected him. But seeing him be defeated by the little Kranigman, he knows that he has to take down. He's thinking maybe Howland Reed is maybe your best fighter. So he knows he has to take down that Kranigman. So he charges towards Howland Reed. Howland Reed, how is he meant to beat the others? So here we go. Next, and possibly the final round, guys. If Midge wins this, though, he wins the whole challenge. Of the King's Guard. So we come to possibly the final part of this melee. Garland Tyrell is left alone upon the battlefield. He sees the Hound Reed took down Victor, and he knows he's got to take down him if he's got any chance of winning. Straight to take down what he thinks maybe is possibly one of their best fights. He's heard the stories. He's heard what you know Ed Stark has said about him. So he knows he's got to take him down. Let's fight. And I, if I lose this, I thrashed again. Not just the jewels. I got thrashed also in the melee. I can't believe this. Um, but here we go. Let's see. Now, is my force. I'm going to use force. You attack with force. As you and Lord Howland engage, you slip up and leave an opening in your defense. He strikes a time to take advantage. I got to defend. Garland, please hold on. Me, Garland. What is this RNG? This RNG has just been kicking my ass today. Really Lord has. Howland overwhelms your defense and with a mighty blow sends you sprawl into the ground. You look up at him, town above you. 
ready to deliver the fight. Can you imagine this, Smitch? Like, ha Howland Reed has just taken down Victarion. He's got his, you know, I don't know, let's say he has the, uh, the, the trident at Victarion's throat, and he's yielded. Uh, or maybe he's killed him, whatever. We'll say killed him, I guess. Then Garland just runs up behind him, like a charge, and going, Rah! and then Howland just turns around and just quickly, like, swipes at him, killing him in one blow. I, I, I think it would be less of a kill in one blow thing, but if he's using his trident, I think I think he'd like turn round and sort of sweep the leg, sweep the leg, Johnny, and like possibly get Garland on his back. Just kind of, you know, both of them aren't, you know, in, even in the like in real life, they're meant to be both good fighters, but in the game, they're both very good fighters, and Howland just kicked both their butts. Yeah. I, I, I there guess we it, go. I just, I guess it comes down to nerves in battle. I think. Howland's a bit older. He's definitely been in battles before. Maybe, maybe Garland. Maybe this might have been Garland's like first major battle in terms of like a an all-out blood fest. Like, may, maybe yeah. that's just what happened. But yeah, yield. But you know, you know what? I, I I can complain and say RNG was not on my side today for both of these events, both these rounds. But you know, at the end of the day, I, I think results don't lie. In the duel and in the melee, your King's Guard kicked my ass. Now I've got to put my hands and say, it probably was the best King's Guard. So you guys, you have your victor. Howland Reed, Oberyn the Red Viper, Roderick Forrester, Brienne Tarth, Great John Umber, Loris Nightflowers, and St bloody Stannis Baratheon. <laughs> they won. Oh, appar appar mind, apparently Howland Reed put mind. a sword into Garland's arm. Oh. Yes, guys, there you have it. The King's Guard Challenge is over. It was meant to be best out of three events. We've done two, and Midge has won both of them. So that does mean that is the end. Midge has won this challenge. Congratulations, Midge. Thank you very much. Another nil now to Midge over the two seasons. We hope you guys enjoyed. Tell us you know, in the comment section, which out of the two teams do you think were the best? Who you would have thought would have won initially? And also maybe who you thought was the M MVP, who was the best player? Do you think it was Howland Reed for taking down Victarion and, of course, um, Garland? Was it Night Flowers for taking down two people? Jamie and Barristan the Bold and the Great John. He took down Ares Oakart and he took down Sander Clegane. Yes. The, the best player It's probably one of those three. So we'll ask you guys in the comment section. Tell us down below who do you think was man of the match for the melee? But... Next time, hopefully, we'll return with season three. We'll have to come up with that. We'll, 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 we'll tell you guys what that will be in the future once we've actually started it. But yes, until then, goodbye, folks.